other than um, motor vehicle collisions, our number one EMS call is definitely slips and falls, uh, especially in the elderly population. And that is actually one of the things, instead of just going and picking grandma up off the floor and taking her to the hospital or putting her back in bed, that is probably one of the things that is most easily preventable by us, um, by actions we can take. Um, probably the, the most important one is Cal Fire Cares, is if you have somebody who's frequently slipping and falling, even if it's just the first time, it might be good to get that person in touch with Cal Fire Cares so they, they can help identify some fall prevention techniques they can do. It could be something as simple as like a, a small rug uh, next to the bed that easily slips. Um, might be just the transitions from, from floor types, but it's, it's all things that's easily fixable and can greatly improve the quality of life for our citizens. The rug that has the, the crinkle in it, that's is what caused the fall. Uh, you know, always feel free to be proactive and see what you can do to help. And then, you know, you can use Image Trend and have that, that Cobb Fire Cares button that you can just hit for them to get a referral and go out there and see what other, you know, fall and trip prevention uh, strategies that they can share. Uh, going out there, building a relationship with people might take two or three visits before they finally build up the trust uh, to be able to offer suggestions or make corrections, whatever might be the case. So uh, we have reports that are generated that alert us whenever our crews uh, make a cop cares referral. Um, a very high percentage of those referrals are for our elderly population. And a lot of that is tied to slips and falls. Um, so when we get those referrals, we have uh, crew members that come in on their off days that make up part of our cop cares team. They'll see those referrals and they will go out and make an in-home visit with the patient and uh, while they're there, uh, we do a bit of a kind of a home safety check, if you will, to see uh, what hazards are present, um, what may be contributing to the patient's condition. Uh, and if it slips and falls, we try to educate them on what they can do to prevent those falls, um, as well as taking uh, immediate action if it's rugs that need to be moved out of the way, or if it's uh, hallways or walkways that need more lighting, we try to help them get that set up uh, even before we leave the house. Yeah, so we, we like to tell anybody, if the, if it's in question, just send it to us. We like to look at, at anything that, that doesn't look right. Um, but a lot of things would be uh, frequent 911 calls to a certain address. Um, we like to look at that. We also like to look at when you get there, if the patient looks like they're not able to care for themselves. Um, that's another red flag that you can send to us, and we'll go out and investigate that and see if there's any assistance we can give them. Um, so anything that looks out of the ordinary or if you have a question or you think somebody just needs some additional help, send it to us and we'll come out and look at it. Uh, just in 2020, we had over 500 referrals uh, sent to us. And um, of all those referrals, we keep a running average of roughly 70 to 80 percent uh, call reduction rate. And so we take a lot of pride in that. Um, we get hung up oftentimes on the ones that we're we're not able to help sometimes, but uh, but we do take a lot of pride in that 70 to 80 percent that we are to, able to find a resource for or educate them to help them reduce their uh, dependence on the 911 system and to be more independent.